up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to start a new series on Meteor for Everyone. And what that is, is basically we're going to be learning how to make web apps using Meteor. And Meteor is a full platform. It's a full stack platform, so it contains view templates, it contains a database, it contains the front end and back end JavaScript. Basically, it encompasses sort of everything, and it's built on Node. It allows for some really cool web apps to be created really, really quickly. And now it does that by sort of uh, allowing the front end and back end code to be sort of combined in a way that's really interesting in a way that you haven't maybe seen before with some other frameworks. So let's check out what we're going to be building over the course of these videos. So we're going to be creating what's essentially a glorified to do app. But one of the sort of performance hacks I like to use in my life is I make a monthly resolutions list. So every single month, instead of doing uh, New Year's resolutions, I'm actually creating resolutions for that month, things I'm trying to improve, um, and just generally things I want to get better at, right. So I decided I wanted to create a monthly resolutions app. And in this uh, in this way, basically, we just have an input text field here. And we can create a new resolution, let's say, read five, or let's say read four books. And we're going to do that in the month of March. So I can just hit enter. And as you can see, we have a new uh, resolution. Now Meteor also has some really interesting strengths that may not exactly be super appropriate for this example, but are really interesting. So if we were to, let's say, open up an incognito window here, you can see that uh, we have this read four books in March is already displaying here. However, if we come back to our application and let's say, let's get eight hours of sleep, sleep in March as well, and we hit enter, Let's tap back over to the incognito window and you can see there's no difference. We didn't have to update or refresh this page. This just happens naturally. Now, obviously, if you're having an app where people are going to have their own user accounts and you're going to be creating their own resolutions, then this is not going to be desired functionality. In fact, we're going to go over how to do that, creating user accounts and attaching this content to those user accounts as well. So don't worry if this is not the style of application you want to build. However, it's a really, really interesting uh, aspect of Meteor that comes baked in. And to reiterate that, if we click remove, you'll notice it's gone uh, on our both our incognito and our standard window without having to refresh. So Meteor is filled with these cool features and these things that make it really interesting. However, it's also very robust and you can use it to build some really great applications. Now, this series is just going to cover the basics to get you up and running. We're going to be creating an application just like this. However, it's going to have user logins and attach these resolutions to logins. But other than that, this is the functionality that we're going to be covering. In later level up tutorial series, we're going to go way more in depth with Meteor and how you can create some really, really cool applications. You can even get into mobile app development using Meteor for iOS or Android. So there's a lot of potential and a lot of possibilities with Meteor, and you just really have to know JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Now, if your JavaScript skills aren't top notch, don't worry. We're going to be explaining everything really basically. So even if you're not a great JavaScript developer, you should be able to get a handle of what's going on and how you can add uh, features to your Meteor application in a way that makes sense. And in the process, I'm sure you're going to learn a lot about JavaScript. So I hope you're excited. Meteor is a really super cool platform to learn, and it enables you to do a lot of really great things. So keep watching over the course of this series. You're going to learn a lot about the basics of Meteor and how to get up and running. 